Hi, it's Daisy here. Today we'll talk about the add-on Hotel Booking WooCommerce Payments. So if you are interested, keep on watching. First I need to tell you a bit about the Motorpress Hotel Booking plugin. It is a base plugin and it provides both the booking and payment systems on your website. You can simply list your properties on the website and accept bookings without online payments. But for those of you who want to use online payments, this video may be informative. Since WordPress plugins do not process payments directly, our plugin has a few inbuilt payment gateways that you can use to accept payments for the bookings. They are the most popular ones. PayPal, TwoCheckout, Stripe, Pinstream, Bambora and Braintree. Some of these payment gateways like PayPal and Stripe may allow your customers pay by card without registering an account on PayPal or Stripe. If these payment gateways are not enough for your business, you can connect custom ones. The Hotel Booking WooCommerce Payments add-on helps you with it. It runs the bookings through the WooCommerce Checkout page, which means you can use WooCommerce payment gateways while accepting bookings. And WooCommerce allows connecting a much bigger number of payment gateways. I will show you how it works right now. The requirements are WooCommerce version 3.2.6 or greater, Motorpress Hotel Booking Plugin version 2.4.0 or greater, and the Hotel Booking WooCommerce Payments add-on itself. I already have WooCommerce and Motorpress Hotel Booking installed. So I'm installing the Payments add-on through Plugins, Add New, Upload, Install, Activate. Next step is to add a product in the Products tab. This product will be used for payments and its name is visible during the booking process. So code for example Reservation. Enter any price for the product. Since the price will vary from booking to booking, it does not matter what you are entering here. Just make sure that it's not zero. In case you are using WooCommerce to sell other products too, then you may want to hide this product from listings and make it non-taxable, because the taxes created within the booking plugin are applied. Now enable WooCommerce payment gateways. The ones inbuilt into the WooCommerce are listed in WooCommerce Settings Checkout. By installing WooCommerce add-ons, free or premium, you can connect many more payment gateways here. As an example, I will use the Molly add-on. It can be installed through the WordPress directory, so go to the Plugins tab, Add New, search for the add-on, Install, Activate. Now we can find and configure all the new payment gateways in WooCommerce, Settings, Checkout. I will enable a few of these for an example. Each payment gateway has its instructions on how to configure it. They usually require seller account details that will receive the payments and a few other settings. Back to the checkout options. Here I will use the test mode to show the full booking process. For live transactions, Molly requires a live API key which you can get on their website. We are almost done. In accommodation, settings, we enable the confirmation upon payment mode. And in the Payment Gateway tab, we enable WooCommerce and name it. You can state the payment gateways that it adds in the description and this will be displayed on the checkout. Now pick the product that you have just created in WooCommerce and tick this box if you want to redirect your customers to the successful and failed payment pages of our plugin instead of the ones from WooCommerce. If you are wondering if you can enable both WooCommerce Payment Gateways and the ones from our plugin, yes, you can do it. Simply enable all the needed ones in these tabs. We are done now. All the available payment gateways will appear on your checkout page and the customers can pick the one that they need during booking. Note that you cannot sell both bookings and some other WooCommerce products not related to our plugin in one order. Subscription payments are also not possible. So now a customer fills in all their booking and billing data picks their payment gateway and gets redirected to the WooCommerce checkout page. Once a booking is placed, the new order will appear in the WooCommerce tab and the new booking related to it in the Bookings tab. The status of this booking depends on the status of its WooCommerce payment. 
If the payment was not successful or your guest got a refund, then WooCommerce system changes the status of the order accordingly. And the status of the booking in the booking step follows. The last thing to mention is that you and your customers can get double email notifications, as well as the email system of Motorpress Hotel Booking plugin notifies about bookings, WooCommerce system notifies website owner and customers about new orders by sending emails. Thus, you and your guests get two similar emails from different systems. If you do not want to confuse yourself and your guests with extra emails, you can either disable email notifications of WooCommerce or the hotel booking plugin. Like the video if it was informative for you. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up with us. Thanks for watching.